So this video is making sure your dog understands the release word. I strongly believe that the release word and what your dog understands of it is what's going to get you clear, consistent contacts and start lines. Um, when dogs have, okay, thank you. When dogs are gray in that area and aren't really sure what releases them off the contacts or start lines, that's when I think the whole performance becomes great. Dogs start creeping down, they're just not sure what exactly releases them off. Is, is it the person's movement or whatever? So we're going to do two tests here. Um, of course your dog has to know also how to wait, but remember this whole video isn't about teaching the stay, it's about teaching the release word, which a lot of people don't spend the time or energy to teach that at all, and I think that's a big mistake. So we're going to run through the process. So the first test is we're just going to have the dog, you're such a rat, uh, we're going to have the dog right next to us in heel position um, and tell them to wait and then not move at all. So don't move any in front of them. So again, if we tell them to wait and we lead out, now they're anticipating a release word. That's what they're expecting next. That us leading out is a reason for them to get up. Okay, the most difficult test is us still staying in that heel position. If we're right next to the dog and we release them, they don't have a reason to get up, but should they? Okay, so what does the release word actually mean? If you're okay, free, break, what does the definition of that release word? It is a moving word. So in reality, if we are right next to our dog and we release them out of the position, they should at least pop up. They shouldn't sit, sit still and hold the position because that is not what the definition of a release word is. So let's test XO. Starting with your dog in heel position, don't move a muscle. Okay. Yay! And release them by the verbal only. Your dog should pop up and react to the word. Sit. Wait. Then you could try fake Excellent. words as well. If they do anything but sit there, you just physically go in and correct them. Don't make a big deal. And try it again. Don't forget to reward the times that your dog makes good okay. choices. Yay! And then good party job. a little bit afterwards when they react to the release word. Test number two, we're going to do a joker. You have to have a really solid stay, but this is actually still testing the release word. So once you put them on the stay, this is going to tell us if the dog thinks they're going on a movement or if they actually understand that it is their release word that releases them. Too many times when people teach the release word, they move when they say the release word. So they go, wait, okay. And the dogs start learning to go on that movement, even though in our mind it looks like they're still going on our release word. In the dog's mind, that motion is so much more obvious that they're actually learning to go on that movement. So this is going to test that. You ready? Okay. So we'll put them on a stay, wait. So after you put your dog in a stay, wait. just take off. Good job. You could stop and take off again. Excellent. Of course you're gonna reward good for good job. choices. Wait. Oprah. If your dog flinches or moves paws at all, I would go back in even if they fix themselves and kind of physically correct them again. Obama! Good You could job. also test them by moving and saying a fake word at the same time, neither of which should release Ohio. your dog. Good boy. Good boy. When you start doing all these little tricks and start testing them on fake words and movement, make sure you also release them on the first time. You don't want your dog to become sticky and not trusting you. So occasionally you want them the first time out to release them like I just did. Good job. Easy. Okay. Yeah. Good boy. Sit. Wait. Ready. Steady. Good boy. 
You could start upping the ante and making it a little more difficult. I'm right next to him, getting him to go. Of course, you want to reward those. They're just as important to reward for not going. All right, back to our XO puppy and teaching yes. her what the release word actually yes. means, yeah. which means yes. to get up and move. Yes. So you need to have a collar on your dog and get them Good in the heel or side yes. position. You're going to be sitting in a chair, wait. holding the collar with the inside hand. Tell your dog to wait. Okay. Treat way out in front. And when you say your release word, you're also simultaneously going to move that hand so that they learn to jump up and go. Try not to move any other part of your body. Good girl. Yes. Okay. And make sure you do this yes. on your left and your right side. Yes. Here's a side view of it. My hand is straight out in front of me. Left inside hands holding their collar. Okay. Yes. And pushing her forward to get the cookie. Yay! Good girlie. All right, yes. once you've done that step 101 yes. times at least, you're on to step two, which is teaching them that it's not the first word they hear, it's a specific word. Excellent. Oops. Make sure you have the hand in the collar so you could correct Excellent. me flinching. Yes. I gave the same word again to see if okay. she could get it right the second time. Good. Making okay. sure she gets yes. a reward for getting it right. Okay. Good girl. She's really getting the idea now, but always remember to build that trust and her understanding, so make sure very frequently you release her on the first time out so that she doesn't get sticky. Okay. So there, I didn't do any testing, just said the release word. And you make sure you do both sides, and here's just another view from in front. Super! Good girl. Don't forget to reward when she chooses yes. not to go on the incorrect words. One. Good girly. Wait. Okay. Good job. Good girl. Here's a little piece right there. Good job. Yay. Okay, once you think your dog really understands what words to go on and what words they shouldn't go on, on to step three. This one is best if you put a little tab a little tiny leash on your dog's collar so you could always be in control whether you're helping them release or you're holding them back when they Wait. choose wrong. Wait. Yes. Wait. Yes. Excellent. Yes. Okay. Right there. Right there. Good girl. All right. So standing next to your dog, you tell him to Wait. Loosely hold the Wait. leash, toss the cookie, oh, make sure you reward yay! for good choices. Sometimes release on the first one, sometimes do fake words. Regardless, you need to reward for making good choices, both not going and going. Right, so if you're needing a little help with your dog's reaction to the release word, you want them to pop up and get out of the sit stay a little quicker this is a good way to do it tell your dog to wait yes treat six to eight inches above their head if they don't get the treat they get a reward yes you could say fake words here okay yay and then again don't move anything when you release them to the cookie I got okay. this game from Daisy yes. Pure. This is just another thing to help them pop Sit. up and react to the release okay. word. Good. Sit. Yes. Okay. Good. Okay. Yeah. Good job. Good job. You good boy. Did we not go play agility today? Was it raining too hard today? We didn't go do some agility. 
I know, they canceled the show. So we did training videos instead. No agility for you? Oh. And now I got a barker in the house though, huh? Good boy. Tell him.